Hello, my name is Scott Hegley, and I'm with Hymns Inc., a company located in Austin, Texas. Today I'm very excited about a new product that Hymns has released called the Braille Edge 40. I'm holding it right now in front of me. This is a brand new 40 cell Braille display. It works beautifully with all iOS devices. By that I mean the iPhone, the iPad, the iPod Touch. It also works with computers that are running JAWS, Window Eyes, System Access, and VDA, HAL, and others. It also possesses some excellent features that are not related to the Braille display portion of the Braille Edge. It has built-in note-taking capabilities. In fact, on the left side of the unit, there is an SD slot, and I can place up to a 32 cell, 32 gig SD card inside the uh, the Braille Edge. It allows access to most of those files. I can create files, I can change them, I can save them. So I don't have to necessarily have it connected to any device to use its note-taking capabilities. It also has a calendar, it has a calculator, and it even has a stopwatch and a timer. But the reason today that we're together is to show how it works with the iPad. Before we get started, there's just a couple things that you want to be sure to check before you connect it with your iPad. First, on the left side, there is a little switch. The switch needs to be in the Bluetooth mode. So if the unit is facing you, you press the switch forward to the front of the unit. That allows the unit to give off a signal to the iPad. The second thing you need to do is to make sure it's in what's called terminal mode. Terminal mode allows every item that is on the iPad to show up on the uh, Braille Edge. So I'm going to press uh, the space bar at least once in the main menu until I see in Braille the word terminal mode. I'm going to press enter, which activates the terminal mode. Now we are ready to go. So I'm going to unlock my iPad. 1050. Let's like to unlock. And the first thing I'm going to do is go into settings. So I'm going to double tap on settings. Settings. We are already in general under settings. So the next thing I want to go to is accessibility. Reset. Battery. Accessibility. Button. And I'm going to double tap on accessibility. Settings. Voice over. On. Button. And luckily, uh, since VoiceOver is on, that button popped up, and not only do you see it saying VoiceOver on, but that highlighted button shows on the screen as well. So VoiceOver is ready to go. The only thing we need to do now is to turn Braille on. Braille happens to be near the bottom of the screen under VoiceOver. So I'm going to go into Braille mode. Triple click home. Voice over. Automatic speak. Mono wide on large zoom. Voice over. Store. Voice over. On. Button. So I'm going to double tap again on the voice over button. Settings. Voice over. On. Line web rotor. Braille. Button. And now the Braille button is ready to be pressed. The Braille button is important because when I press that, I can set up some of my Braille features. For example, if I want status cells on or off. But the most important item under Braille is to pair it with the Braille Edge. So I'm going to double tap on Braille. Settings. Heading. Voice of Braille. Airplane Wi-Fi. Notifications. Uh, Braille set in progress. Braille sense 0411. Okay. And it says in progress Braille sense 0411. That happens to be the current name of this particular Braille Edge. But that is the device we're looking for. So it sees it. And it says Braille sense 0411. Not paired. Not, not paired. That's actually good news. It's seeing the device, but we need to enter a pairing code to allow the two to work together. So I'm going to double tap on this button. Braille sense 0411. And it's going to ask me for a code. Pin. And the pin is going to be 0000. And I'm going to go over to the pair button and press the double tap. And we're done. And you heard that little boing, that little noise, 
What that means now is that the two devices are completely together. So if I press the backspace, or if I press the space, or if I press anything else on the Braille edge, the iPad will follow along, or vice versa. Or if I take my finger and flick on the screen, voiceover, back button, picture frame, button, the Braille is actually keeping up with whatever I'm doing on the iPad. So I'm going to press the home key. Settings. Double and I'm back to the home page on the iPad. Again, everything is coming up in Braille on the iPad as well. And I'm going to use the iPad. Actually, I'm going to use the Braille edge to move around the iPad screen. So I'm going to press dot one with the backs with the space bar rather dot one with the space, and that's going to allow me to backspace through the items. Camera, FaceTime, Game Set, App Store, iTunes, YouTube, Videos, Maps, Notes. And I'm on Notes. I'm going to tap one of the routing buttons on the Braille edge and open up Notes. Notes. And there's Notes open for us right now. I'm going to press dots four in the space bar. Hello, my name is Pat. Button. And I'm going to go to the Add button. I'm going to tap one of the routing buttons on the Braille edge. Note. Text field is edited. And I now have an editable text document. In fact, on the Braille edge, there's a blinking cursor. So I'm going to type something quickly. I'm going to set this down, the, uh, the iPad. And I'm going to say, hi, period. Hi. Space. My name hi. Is, is Scott. I did Scott. that in grade 2 Braille. I could have done this in grade 1 Braille but I did it in grade 2 Braille, and VoiceOver knows that grade 2 Braille is grade 2 Braille and converts it to text. So you can see on the screen, even though I wrote it in regular grade 2 Braille, it says, hi, my name is Scott. It's that simple. So whether I input on the Braille edge or whether I input on the iPad, it doesn't make any difference. And the beauty is the two are flawlessly working together for all applications. For those of us who like to surf the web, it's neat to be able to open Safari with the Braille Edge, type a URL, hit enter, and let the breast take care of themselves. So we have now shown how to connect the, the Braille Edge with uh, the iPad. And it's just as easy the second time. You simply turn on the unit, go into the settings, go under um, VoiceOver under Braille, and you won't have to enter a PIN this time. It'll be remembered for you from the last session. If you have any questions about how to use an iPad or even an iPhone with your Braille Edge, or if you're interested in more information about the Braille Edge, please go to our website, which is hims-inc.com, and our phone number is 888-520. 4467. Thanks very much and have a great day.